All right, we're going to try this again. Jen Lovers is back from Extra TV. We're going to blame that on Zoom and just move on. All right, so SNL, <laughs> SNL announces that one of the upcoming hosts is Kim Kardashian, and then there's an uproar. What's, the, what's this all about? Well, you know what? Everybody has something to say about the Kardashian family, right? And SNL, they want people to talk. It's only good for them. So they announced their October lineup, which includes, for the first time ever, a member of the Kardashian family. So Kim is going to be hosting October 9th, and at least one person who's not happy with it is Deborah Messing. She tweeted, why Kim Kardashian? I mean, I know she's a cultural icon, but SNL has hosts generally who are performers who are there to promote a film, a TV show, or an album launch. Am I missing something? Listen, Marla, I'm not saying that we haven't heard or seen our fair share of the Kardashians, but I mean, look at just recently, wasn't it just a few weeks ago when SNL picked Elon Musk yep. to host? And I watched. I mean, even the cast questioned that decision. Well, uh, but the ratings were the highest they had been in recent history, so I think that SNL is banking on that happening again with Kim hosting. Well, okay, it's a matter of time. So Kim uh, takes over SNL uh, on October yeah. the 9th, right? Okay, we will look forward yeah. to seeing that and the ratings, and we'll see. I think Deborah Messing, this, she just wants an invitation to, <laughs> she does to, to host, I think so. Uh, okay, uh, in New York City, Harry and Meghan, they are there. They are started their trip there this morning. They visited the September 11th Memorial. It's their first time. Uh, as a public trip that since they moved to Southern California that they've been out and about on Saturday they'll be at Central Park for the Global Citizen Live event to urge developed nations to donate COVID vaccines to those who need it the most. Uh, how'd that go? Well, yeah, so I mean, all eyes are on that couple, right? They kicked things off, as you said, with a visit to the observatory at World Trade Center. It's worth noting that they checked into Princess Diana's favorite hotel there, the Carlisle. Uh, this is the first public outing for them, A, since they had their uh, their daughter, Lilibet, and then since splitting from the royal family last year, their two children, we're told, are at home here in California. So if you're headed to New York this weekend, keep your eyes peeled for all the lights and sirens and motorcades because you never know, it could be them. Oh, yeah, and you have, uh, talking about who's going to be on your show tomorrow night on Extra. You got a big name, John Legend. Tell us about that. Yes. We have two big names, actually. So John Legend, you know, he talks the new season of The Voice, what kind of coach uh, and competitor that Ariana Grande is going to be. And he's also going on tour. Uh, so we sit down with him. And then, Marla, we talk to the queen, the queen of pop, that is Madonna. Uh, she's promoting her Madam X rock documentary on Paramount+. Plus. It was shot during the Portugal leg of her Madam X tour. That premieres on October 8th. Now, Marla, it's not a matter if you're a Madonna fan. Oh, I am. It's a matter of what decade of a Madonna fan you are. Which decade? Did you say? Yeah. Like a virgin. Material yes. girl. Yes, thank you. Oh, my like goodness. Like a virgin, holiday. Uh, 80s, 90s Madonna. That's my jam. Okay. Uh, really quickly, how are you doing? Uh, I know you're expecting. I am. So I'm actually going to be eight months in uh, on Sunday. So oh, well. it has been a journey. I feel great. Well, but, you know, it's time. It's yeah. getting to be that time. If you don't already follow Jen Lammers on social media, please do. I'm enjoying uh, your experience uh, as a beautiful pregnant woman out there. So oh, thank and you. I adore you, as oh. you know, Marla. Thank you so much for spending some time with us tonight, Jen. Thanks for having me.